here with Marcus Howard in Colorado Springs at the US, USA Basketball Under-16 training camp. Marcus, how is Colorado Springs treating you? It's been great. I mean, uh, I'm just really uh, privileged to be out here and playing with the best players in the country, so I'm really happy right now. Are things any different for you this time around compared with at the development camp last fall? No, I mean, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm getting pretty used to everything now. I mean, just being here in October, really, I think I have an edge over everybody else just because I know what's every, what to expect and just um, just know that what the, what's going on in drills and stuff like that. So I feel like it plays a factor, it helps me in a factor. Did that experience you gained, did that help you at all during the season? Um, did, it, did it make you better as a player at all? I felt it definitely did. I mean, I learned a lot of things here that I didn't learn before. So, I mean, I took those back home for, with me, and it really helped me the regular season. It was during school and during the spring. So I, I, really, I really learned a lot here. What kind of player are you right now? For people that are watching this video that might not know much about you, what can you tell us about yourself? Uh, I'm a scoring guard, but um, I can really get, uh, facilitate and get my teammates involved, and uh, I can really lead a team. I'm very vocal, and uh, I'm just a uh, really explosive guard. What are some of the things you need to work on to reach your full potential as a player? I think uh, just you can always get better on defense and just continue just to get up in people and just continue to defend. Then also just continuing to be very vocal and be a, just a certain extent to the coach. Where does that basketball IQ, that acumen for knowing how to play, where, where did that come from for you? I mean, uh, I would have to say uh, really just watching my older brother, uh, both of them actually. Watching them play and just how smart they were. They both played point guard. And just uh, watching how, how smart they were with the ball and how they just would get other people open. That's really how I just learned my IQ for the game. Where did they play? Um, well, they played in high school. My, brother, my oldest brother played at a junior college in Phoenix, Phoenix College. Then my middle brother uh, is right now, he's the starting point guard at Central Arkansas. He, uh, he, led, he, he's a, he got freshman of the year, and then uh, he led the, uh, his, uh, his Southland Conference in scoring. What do you see your role being on this team if you're able to make the roster? Uh, if, I'm pr if I'm blessed enough to make the roster, I feel my role would be just uh, being a leader and being the point guard that the coaches need and just, uh, just continuing to lead and be vocal and just encouraging the guys, but just being that point guard role. What is it like to be in a setting like this where you're guaranteed nothing, you're guaranteed, not guaranteed minutes, you're not guaranteed even a spot on the roster? Is that, is that humbling at all? And how are the guys here accepting that? I think it's very humbling, in fact. I mean, just knowing that nothing's guaranteed, it makes you work even harder than you would before. So, I mean, just, just the atmosphere, like everybody's here, it's, it's like a cutthroat, cutthroat business, knowing that nothing's going to be guaranteed. So you just want to bring it every, each and every session and know that you just have to play hard. As a, as a guy who has the ball in his hands here, how do you balance between scoring and trying to make yourself look good and, and getting other people involved um, so they look good? I mean, I feel that if I get others involved, it makes myself look good. But then when it's time for me to take shots, usually uh, if I'm open, I'll usually t try and take the shot. But usually uh, in this role for this team, I'm really just going to be like a pass first type point guard. But when it's time for me to get mine, I'm going to most definitely get mine. Any goals that you've set for yourself for your career? I mean, first of all, I just want to make this team. I mean, that would honestly just be icing on the cake. I've had a pretty good year so far. I had a great, great school year. Uh, very good spring. So I mean, this would just make everything perfect. I mean, I would love to be able to go to Argentina, but but that and then just finish strong through high school. I mean, just really, really uh, be a profound player in the country and just continue to have that have that uh, reputation throughout my career. What are you looking for in a college? What are some going to be some of the main factors in your decision? Um, some factors for a college would be just my relationship with the coach and the coaching staff. I mean, I'm a real relationship type oriented guy. I really want to have a connection with uh, the people I'm around. So that would be a main factor, but then also just the type of education that it offers and just that uh, in the future that I'll be set for life, even if basketball doesn't work out for me. When did you start playing basketball and why? I started playing when I was three years old and my brothers just really got me into it. I mean, I would always watch them play. Then I just started dribbling a ball and then they just really just helped me pick it up. Anybody in the NBA that you really enjoy watching? I love watching Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry. Thanks so much. Best of luck.